Hi, everybody. It is August 28, 2019. Weather. Weather, weather, weather. Weather warfare. Weather used as a weapon. Weather weaponry. Oh, okay. I want to show you some things that have been happening around the world. But, you know, they can manufacture anything today. Look at, you know, I put in Hurricane Dorian. So what do I get on YouTube? Well, it's a hurricane now. Uh, all authoritative sources, authoritative sources that don't lie to you, Bloomberg, MS, uh, NBC, uh, CBS, and Washington Post, and CBS, and Fox News, and ABC, PBS. They're on it. They're all on it. Well, yeah, the masses are hitting the stores to buy up supplies. It's amazing. Look at this search. Boy, not too long ago, so many videos were coming up that just ordinary individuals were posting. And now, well, it seems they're gone. Wow. Look at this. All mainstream media news. And I have to tell you, searching, searching for weather events. So I look at the radar and I go, ooh, does not look good for Oklahoma, for Texas. And then I do a search. It, look, I'm not experiencing a different experience on DuckDuckGo as opposed to Google. So, for those who are, <clears throat> um, all the power to you, I don't know, but I'm not. And in the last couple of days, I've been doing searches, trying to find out what's happening in local areas, and I've been having a really difficult time. So, yeah, I posted this Just Talking video, talking about the loss of cyber connection and what you gonna do? What you gonna do when suddenly we're out of touch? I feel out of touch already. I have to rely on you guys to let me know what is happening in your area. Because now, yeah, I, I think more is happening than I can find. So, all right, well, authoritative sources, here you go, guys. Do I have to uh, link to the search bar on YouTube? No, I don't think so. I think you can come up with the authoritative sources on your own, on your own. Um, so yeah, Puerto Rico, preps for Dorian. Así que eh, lo importante es que sepan que las agencias están listas y que estamos mejor preparados que cuando nosotros tuvimos ante nuestro ataque a nuestra isla del huracán María. Yep. The plywood comes out. The food stores get depleted of supplies. I posted a video on Puerto Ricans go into the street and they would not stop all generations until they got rid of their corrupt governor. So then this governor steps in. I, I think maybe another governor stepped in and then stepped down because of their corruption or this one's corrupt. Every friggin' government is corrupt. We've got to get rid of government. Well, that's a whole other video. Look at the National Hurricane. Uh, well, yeah, that's good. National Hurricane Center. 
Look at that huge pulse in Colorado. Interesting, huh? Well, not so interesting. So the National Hurricane Center is, well, it's just basically telling you the, uh, that it's now a hurricane. We got Aaron too, Tropical Depression. Uh, but Dorian, 75 mile per hour winds. It's on its way to Puerto Rico. I found this interesting. Do not use map to make decisions. Seek official information. I don't use official information or maps to make my decisions. But look, Dorian seems to be, it's going to plow into Puerto Rico and then into, well, a whole lot of Florida. Or maybe it will just veer off track and hit Cuba. Okay, all Floridians on the East Coast should have seven days of supplies. So we're made fun of as crazy conspiracy theorists when you stock up on supplies, you know, those quote-unquote preppers. But then your government tells you to prep. What? Deliver major hit to Florida. Yes. East coast of Florida. Get ready. Uh, they're claiming that Dorian could get to Hurricane 3 status. But don't worry. The meteorologists, they're monitoring it. Don't worry. Puerto Rico enacts dry law prohibiting the sale of alcohol on the island. That's right. You don't want any drunks in this hurricane. So enact a dry law. It has been instated for all of Puerto Rico. Sale of alcohol is prohibited from this moment on. Why? Because I say so. I'm the authority. Everyone should be home in a safe space with family. Classes are canceled. Work is suspended for public employees. And no alcohol. Are you kidding me? All right, what, what, why, why, why? What's the point of that? Well, people could have alcohol in their homes. So is she saying don't drink? Go home, stay home, don't drink. Does anybody recognize the abject absurdity of what is happening today? So tracking Hurricane Dorian. It's West 2, first alert update now on Hurricane Dorian. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. Hurricane hunters have been in there and they're finding some strong winds in that northern and northeastern quadrant. That's why this has been upgraded as it's coming through the U.S. Virgin Islands and scraping now uh, the eastern side of Puerto Rico. Winds now at 75 miles an hour. Again, this is not a new forecast cone. It's just an update to the intensity on the 2 o'clock intermediate advisory. Again, if you saw the update with Amy uh, at noon today, you saw a major hurricane potentially down the road road making landfall along the eastern peninsula of the Florida coastline here as we get you on into Monday. That's the time frame as of right now. Okay. I have been trying to get a satellite that works and I can't. Here I am on Tropical Tidbits. Hurricane Dorian. Well, I couldn't even get on the website at all. And now, this is what is occurring. Can't really get... Look, look quickly. Look quickly. Ah! Looks like a whole lot of superheating is taking place. And that is happening for each, each, um, each satellite. Can't... I got this really strange message when I went on this earlier couldn't even get this far and I clicked off so I can't remember the message um, 
All right, Dorian is making her way onto College of DuPage, so later I'll come back and check it out. But look at what's Erin? Which is Erin? Is this Erin? Is this rectangle that is quite defined Erin? Or is this spinning uh, glob of manufactured cloud Erin? No, I think this is Erin. Yeah. Okay. Should I go to localize? Uh, I'm not going to get in there. Let's go to sub. Yeah. All right. Let's check it out. Wow. Well, it does look like they are manufacturing cloud. That's for sure. And they sure are manufacturing cloud in Dorian because earlier this morning I did, I was on a news website and I saw their satellite and it's, well, you just don't hear meteorologists ever. Does anybody tell the truth in our country? Anyone? Anyone? The lies are incredible. But even the lies from ordinary people. So what is this spinning thing here? Are they going to make this into a whatever? Look, you know, all right, Hurricane Dorian, 75 miles per hour. And we've had hurricanes on land all year long. How many videos did I post? Winds, 90 miles per hour. Winds, 110 miles per hour. Winds, 80 miles per hour in so many parts of the country. Nobody thinks that's odd. So I'll come back to this once Dorian uh, pummels Puerto Rico and gets a little closer to Florida. Uh, but yeah, that pulse in Colorado. Whoop. Wow. Radar pulse. Mm. You go, Doppler. You go. Uh, well, it's only 329. PM Eastern Standard Time. They got the Doppler radar going, going, going with weird uh, lines occurring as well. Here you got a nice rectangle. That's Georgia, border of South Carolina, Georgia. Uh, and boy, your storms here in Florida. I've been noticing that they erupt right along the west border and then move really quickly into the center. I'm going to post a video on captures of radar and satellite that I've been taking for a couple of days. Unbelievable what is taking place and that these meteorologists are ignoring what appears to be artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, creating our weather, controlling our weather, but they are ignoring the explosion of dangerous electromagnetic frequencies. What, what do you say? Can you say it's a shame? No, that's an understatement. Can you say it's tragic? Uh, that, well, you know, Americans really don't know how to respond to tragedy. Uh, but what do you say about these meteorologists who completely ignore the weather modification, the geoengineering, all of the frequencies, and they just go on reporting as if, hey, well, it's severe weather, and we're now having hurricanes on land that, well, they just erupt out of nowhere, and they take down a lot of trees, cause a lot of damage, cause flash flooding, a lot of Americans suffering the consequences, but they just go on, well, it's climate change. It's climate change, global warming. Wow, ma'am, we're living a time that is like, what, how do you, what do you do with this time? You know, I saw this. Martin Luther King Jr. gives iconic I Have a Dream speech. <sighs> well, I'm a young baby boomer. I didn't really know, couldn't really assess what was going on 
life in the 60s. But let me ask you baby boomers, wouldn't you like to just go back to the 60s? Having everything that you know now with you then, wouldn't you make different decisions? Huh. So, a volcano erupts in Italy. Volcano. Volcano. Wow, Carol. Huh. Okay, let's try that again. Volcano erupts on Italian island of Stromboli, killing hiker, sending tourists jumping into the sea. Jumping into the sea. Look at this. China. China. This was posted today. Lady wiped out by flash flood. Really? Okay. Uh, well, it sure was a flash flood. But how, why, what happened here? I don't know. Just including it. Colorado, a couple of days ago. Reed Timmer. Reed Timmer, the great meteorologist. Huge hail, larger than tennis balls. Strasburg, Colorado. Madrid, Spain. Oh, the hell. In stores. Hmm. Can I ask you guys another question? 
Sure, Carol. Oh, thank you. Okay. If you knew nothing about weather modification geoengineering, and you were just an ordinary, oh, I don't know, you know, sleeping sheeple in the world, um, if you experienced the weather today, like your store is, well, it has, what, six inches of hail in it? Would that not beg questions in your mind? Or would you just think, oh, it's climate change, global warming? See, the problem is that a lot of people are not looking at what's happening all over the world, all over the world. And this is happening all over the world. Sudan just had flash flooding. The latest number, 62 dead. India, uh, there is so much flash flooding. But this is the kind of flash flooding that we did not experience, certainly not on a regular basis now. Now we do. We see cars floating away. I'll get to the United States severe weather in another video. Okay? It, I, I, would, I would like to think it would beg questions in my mind. Like, okay, something is not quite right with this picture. It's not quite right. How did all of this happen? Was the door open and it just, I guess, flooded right in? Did it all, that accumulation of hail all over the store, um, did it all come through the crack underneath the door? I would have thought the hail would have just accumulated at the crack and would have been a bar barrier. I don't know. Um, what do I know? I know nothing. Tornadoes in Spain? it caused damage you know, um, Spain tornadoes I didn't think you guys got tornadoes but here uh, look at these women who are just walking down the street and hmm okay well tornado it's moving a bit but Maybe it's coming towards them. Nobody seems all that anxious. Okay, now look at the defined cloud above. Look at the horizontal dark cloud. Uh, you know, it looks like a big T in the sky. Look at the defined cloud here. Signatures of frequencies at use, in use. So you had quite a number of tornadoes in Spain. And I want to know, do you guys get tornadoes? I have a playlist. It's called Weather Modification. Another one, Geoengineering. Another one, Climate Change Fraud. Facts, evidence, yes, man can make tornadoes. Anywhere, anywhere in the world. in Spain. Well, you know what, guys? <laughs> I just paused the video, and it was 23, 24 minutes, 24 something. I paused it to just bring up three articles. And when I look at the time on the recording, it's 48 minutes and 32, 3, 4, 5, 48 minutes. What the hell happened here? Okay, I am telling you, I don't know what the hell is going on. With, uh, I, look, I'd be called a complainer if I listed everything that's going on. 48 minutes. Somehow, it doubled in time. 
climate science lawsuit. I hope when I stop this, it's the right time. I'm I, climate science lawsuit. Hockey man, Michael Mann can't believe that this guy still exists and he is such a disgusting, despicable liar. He's the guy who created that hockey stick of climate change. All right, he's still at it. Yeah, Amy Goodman still, Amy Goodman of Democracy Now! still interviews him. I, I can't believe how fucking sick our societies are all over the world. So there was a lawsuit um, <clears throat> and it was uh, Tim Ball who, who uh, brought the lawsuit for uh, libel, I think, can't remember. Michael Mann disputes the notion that he lost. Yes, of course, you didn't lose. Uh, you lost, Michael, but uh, in your mind, you didn't lose. This is what he said. There have been some wildly untruthful claims about the recent dismissal of libel litigation against Tim Ball circulating on social media. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Michael bringing it against Tim Ball. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to play in this game. Life is just a friggin' game, right? It's just something that is a meaningless game. I honestly can't stand this. Penn State climate scientist Michael Hockey Stickman commits contempt of court in the climate science trial of the century. Prominent alarmist shockingly defies judge and refuses to surrender data for open court examination. Only possible outcome, man's humiliation, defeat, and likely criminal investigation in the United States. The defendant in the libel trial, the 79-year-old Canadian climatologist Tim Ball, is expected to instruct his British Columbia attorneys to trigger mandatory punitive court sanctions including a ruling that man did act with criminal intent when using public funds to commit climate data fraud. There's a lot on Michael Mann. I think I have some on my climate change fraud playlist. So if you don't know Michael Mann, if you don't know anything about the hockey stick, you don't know Dr. Tim Ball, I have Tim Ball on my um, playlist. But yeah, oh my God. That these people are so unbelievably sick. Here, uh, creator of the hockey stick graph that appears to show global temperatures taking a noticeable swing upward in the era when humanity has been burning fossil fuels and dump, uh, fossil fuels and dumping CO2 into the atmosphere first published in 1998. Remember the climate gate? Was that what it was called? When those, yeah, climatologists at the um, Anglia, oh my God, I can't remember the names. See, this is why I don't do, people have asked to interview, uh, I, I can't. Because I, I forget things all the time now. Um, but all of the emails that showed that there were falsifying data, withholding data, and we get nowhere. The lies persist. The lies are exposed, but they persist. All right, I, I can. Could we be wrong about where the big one will strike? Earthquakes are occurring in areas we never expected. Of course, when man can create earthquakes, well, you can expect them anywhere. Anywhere, Kansas, hey, the big one. Oklahoma, the big one. Maine, the big one. And guess what? It's smog and sadness, what? 
Smog and sadness. Study suggests link between air pollution and psychiatric disorders. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. What, what do you do with this world? You say, hey, links are below. Have a great day.